Welcome. My name is Saskia Hausem and I am the Operations Manager at MIQ. In this video, we will give a general overview of the MIQ Digital Registry and the functionalities that it offers. The MIQ Digital Registry can be accessed at miqregistry.org. The MIQ Digital Registry captures the entire life cycle of certificates that evidence ESG attributes of natural gas, covering the issuing, holding, transfer and retirement of these certificates. Because the registry tracks certificates through their entire life cycle, it is the single source of truth for each and every certificate, and thus ensures that there can be no double counting of certificates. In other words, the same certificate or unit of certified gas can only ever be held by one party at a time and cannot be transferred to more than one party or double counted. This is incredibly important for the credibility of the certified gas market and to give buyers the confidence in the certificates that they are buying. In this video, we will cover what can be done on the registry. But for more detail on how to do these things, please refer to the other videos in this series, which can be found on our website at miq.org. There are additional resources available to you, including the MIQ Program Guide that explains the processes for every action that can be carried out on the registry, from registering facilities to transferring certificates. The Program Guide is available is available on our website, miq.org. We also have user guides. These explain screen by screen how to use the registry. These user guides are emailed to you when you receive your first login. Now, let's have a look at the MIQ Digital Registry. The MIQ Digital Registry can be accessed at miqregistry.org. After logging in, you will land on the dashboard page. In the menu on the left hand side, you will see all functionalities of the MIQ Digital Registry. Let's start at the bottom, My Organization. This page presents some summary information about your organization that was provided in the sign up process. Within your organization, you can set up as many users as you need. You can do this via the users option in the menu on the left hand side. Here you can edit existing users or add new users using the add user button here on the right. If you are a producer or an operator, to be able to request certificates to be issued to you, you will need to set up a facility. This is a straightforward process. You provide the required information and the facility creation is then approved by the registry operator. Please note that the name you enter in the facility creation process will be the name that is used for the public information on the registry. You can see two different sorts of registrations for facilities, pending and registered facilities. After facility registration and the audit of the facility is completed, you would next provide information about the audit to the registry. The information in the audit report is required before certificates can be issued. Regardless of whether you are a facility operator intermediary or end user, you will want to set up one or more accounts on the registry. You can set up as many accounts as you wish. There are two kinds of accounts, trading accounts and retirement accounts. Trading accounts can receive certificates that are issued from facilities and can receive transfers from other accounts and make transfers to other accounts. Retirement accounts are used 
when end users consume gas and the certificates are retired so that they can no longer be traded. Note that each account will have its own unique 8 character code, which act like account numbers, as in banking, when transferring money. In the registry, we transfer certificates. If you are a producer or an operator with one or more registered facilities, you can request the issuance of certificates. Here you will see your pending issue requests as well as your completed issue requests. You can create new issue requests simply by clicking on Create Issue Request. Once certificates have been issued, you will be able to see them in your account and be able to transfer them into your own other accounts or into accounts from third parties that you are trading with. Under Completed Requests, you can see the history of your completed and issued requests. Another important action on the registry is the transfer of certificates, either between your own accounts or to those of third parties. Creating a transfer is simple. You start the process using the button Create Transfer. You will need to provide the source and destination accounts and the total number of certificates to be transferred. You will then be able to allocate specific certificates to the transfer from the certificates you have available in the source account. If you want to know more about MIQ or about certification against the MIQ standard, please check out MIQ.org. If you're ready to sign up to the MIQ Digital Registry, head over to MIQRegistry.org and click Register now. If you have any questions, you can contact us on info at miq.org. Thank you for your attention.